I'm News 19 meteorologist Efren Afonte with your 11 a.m. Thursday tropical update. Now, the National Hurricane Center just updated shortly before 11 o'clock the latest information on Hurricane Florence. Now, the latest information, it has weakened a little bit once again. It's currently a Category 2 hurricane with wind speeds at 105 miles an hour, gusting to 125. Now, if you notice, over the last about 36 hours, there's been a very well-defined eye but especially over the last 12 hours, we've noticed that although it is a very strong hurricane, it doesn't have a well-defined eye. The center of circulation will put it right about here. If you notice, there's not a lot of symmetry to it. Most of the thunderstorm activity is along the northern, eastern, and northeastern quadrant of the center of circulation of the hurricane. If you notice, there's a little empty notch here on the southeast quadrant of Hurricane Florence. Over the last 12 hours, there's been a lot of dry air intrusion that's been coming out of the south and southeast and wrapping into the center of circulation of the hurricane. So it has been weakening substantially due to that. Now keep in mind, less than 24 hours ago, the National Hurricane Center put it up to a category four hurricane. A very strong, but it is starting to fall apart a little bit. Nevertheless, it's still a strong category two hurricane. Now, the latest information on it is that it continues to move to the northwest at about 10 miles an hour, and it's well out in open waters right now in the central Atlantic. Now, the latest track from the National Hurricane Center does indicate that by tomorrow, by later on this evening, it may weaken even further as a category one hurricane. There's a lot of Sahara dust that has been moving through the central portions of the Atlantic. That isn't so much the weakening. There's a lot of shear involved, a lot of high level atmospheric shear that's being involved right now along the lines of where it's moving to. That shear atop of the hurricane, as well as the dry air that's coming in from the south, is weakening it and will continue to weaken at least over the next 24 hours, but may intensify by Sunday night back into a category two hurricane with wind speeds up to 105. And if we elongate the trajectory by Tuesday morning, it'll be positioned about 200 to 225 miles of center circulation south of the island of Bermuda as a category three hurricane with wind speeds at 120 miles an hour. But keep in mind, this is a five day track. And notice as the National Hurricane Center cone of uncertainty continues day after day, it widens it. So this is a very wide swath. You're talking a 250 mile deviation on either side of the center point of circulation. So again, don't keep so much in point of where the center portion is, but the cone of uncertainty, this is an over 500 mile deviation in which by Tuesday, it could be right on top of Bermuda or it could be 500 miles plus south of Bermuda as potentially a category three hurricane. Now, the other than the tracks, the spaghetti models, which is various models throughout the, throughout the world that gives variations of where they expect the tracks. Some of the tracks, just a few of them, still take it that over the course of the next 24 hours will take a very strong northerly trajectory. And if that's the case, it's gonna stay out in the North Atlantic and keep that way. Some models, a few, have it that it'll cross right through the areas around Bermuda and then continue northwest, potentially area affecting areas from New England to possibly the northern mid-Atlantic. While some computer models have it moving in which it could possibly be affecting areas from the mid-Atlantic down into the southeast, and a couple of the models, especially a couple of the United Kingdom and European models, have the trajectory going straight due west on a seven day track that would take it just to the western portions or the west northern portions of the northern Caribbean islands. Again, these are seven day tracks. There's a lot of uncertainty, but the standard deviation from the western point to the northern point is well over a 5,000 mile swath. So a lot of the models may be indicating the same trajectory, at least over the last 24 hours. But overall, all of the model guidance has absolutely no idea where this is gonna go, whether it's gonna get straight west or whether it's gonna head straight north and everything in between. So there's a lot of uncertainty the timing right now of what we're expecting for most of these model guidance to start getting a little bit more consistent is when we get into around Sunday night 
and into Monday. And keep in mind, that is still several days out. It being Thursday, by Monday, that's a five-day change, and everything is going to change on this. A lot of this is not going to be consistent over the next 96 hours. Now, other than Hurricane Florence, we've been watching it from Category 4 to a 3, now down to a 2. We're also watching this other wave. Now, this wave has got a 90% probability that this will become a tropical cyclone within the next five days. It's got a 70% probability of turning into a tropical cyclone within the next 48 hours. Here's the latest on Tropical Wave Invest 92L. Wind sustained at 30 miles an hour, moving to the west-northwest at about 13 miles an hour. Here's the thunderstorm activity to the northwest and far southwest. It's not organized at all. It is a tropical wave of thunderstorm activity. The seven-day computer spaghetti guidance models also have it deviating all over the place. Some of the seven-day tracks have it moving continuing west-northwest and possibly by seven days getting towards the western side of their, or the northwest, northeastern side of the Lesser Antilles Islands. A few models have it still moving through the central Atlantic. Some of the models have it moving into the North Atlantic, North Central Atlantic. So again, there's a lot of deviation behind this, but this will be the next tropical complex we're going to be watching for potential, and at this point, very likely development within the next two to five days. That's this guy. Now the National Hurricane Center that has been eyeballing a potential development now has a moderate chance. At this point right now, it's a 50% chance, but notice, there's two markers here. There's two possible trop uh, 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 thunderstorm development that's still well in Africa. It hasn't come off the coast yet, in which each one of these has a potential over the next five days of turning into a tropical cyclone once it gets into the environment either east along or just west of the Cape Verde Island. So a lot of activities going on right now, but officially the only tropical systems that we are watching is this one, Tropical Wave Invest 92L, and of course, Hurricane Florence was just positioned right here. That's the 11 a.m. Thursday update. Another update from the National Hurricane Center will come out by before 5 o'clock this afternoon. And of course, we'll have updates on this on News 19 at noon. We'll have updates on this later on this evening. And we'll continue to update you on air and online here at WLTX News 19.